Well, thanks for talking to me today. I appreciate it. Um, both of you sort of put up with Avi's eccentricities, <laughs> let's just say, um, you know, maybe a bit more than others, but can you sort of talk about how, I, I guess their relationships with him sort of progress through the season and why they're willing to, to do that? We'll just go Karen, then Michael. Well, because his um, his approach as inscrutable and unorthodox and maddening as it is actually produces results even when you even when even when he goes wrong and has to correct um, with the help of the people around him. Um, I think that uh, we, both our characters have known Avi for so long that, that we know the chances are that if it, everything isn't going to get laid bare, it's, it's at least going to lead us somewhere. So, um, so I, I think you give someone like that a lot of rope. But as Captain Davies, I also have to keep him within coloring within the lines to a certain extent. And um, and that's a challenge. And, and your character, you sort of just seem to go with the flow with them. Your your character isn't as bothered by it. You're just kind of like, let no, him do I'm what fascinated he wants by to him. do. I think uh, Earl leads with his emotions sometimes and, and Avi is so good about in that interrogation room about just being a surgeon about about his words and, and how he um, how he pulls these people's deeper truths to the front. And so I think Earl's yeah he's fascinated by Avi's uh, meticulousness you know because Earl's just a little clumsier than that. <laughs> um, did either of you in preparation, did you do anything like working with real detectives or ride alongs or anything like that that you can talk about? I have in the past. I actually have a, a guy that I, I'd done other cop things in the past and I have a friend who's a retired um, homicide detective from the LA Sheriff's Department and I call him always about everything that's to see if the, to get his baloney meter, you know, if he sees it, you know, to make sure that we're doing it according to, you know, how he would say it or how he would do it. So I, I've always, he, he's like a friend of mine. It's not even like a ride along at this point. Like that's just a friend. Um, and we had a, we had a, a on set, uh, we had some tech advisors on set who would, you know, if, if just, you know, how do, when do you pull the gun? How do you, when do you pull the cups? You know, you know, little things. We don't have a gun in the interrogation room. You know, you leave the gun outside of the interrogation, just little things to, to always make sure that we're keeping it as, as, uh, as, as real as possible. That's yeah. kind of our, to try to keep it real. Yeah. And much like Michael, you know, I have played uh, cops before and so have had the privilege of um, people who are really on the job as advisors. But you know what I also think? I think that our, as actors, we tend to be detectives. I mean, that's really our job is excavation and discovery of our characters. So there's something about the craft of acting that lends itself to, to this particular line of work. I think anyway, Michael, am I talking? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. That's what we do. We're trying to crack a, we're trying to crack a character. We're trying to crack a story. Yeah. And so, yeah, it is, it does lend itself towards investigations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really interesting just because I've been asking everybody if you thought you'd make a good detective, do you like puzzles in that? I never really thought about it that way. <laughs> so, yeah. so that makes sense. That's really cool. Um, so is there anywhere other than the, the script? Obviously, you said you've played cops before, but where else did you kind of get inspiration for your particular characters from? Did you bring more from your own life or did you just kind of create it? Where did the rest of it come from? But, you uh, know, beyond the book and script, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. I think we kind of were trying to figure out who Earl was all at the same time. Like, I I didn't really, I wasn't really sure who Earl was. So, like, when I caught when I got there, I uh, we all kind of just like, it, we'd we'd be we'd play around, and then uh, you know, some like Barry would point at something, or Shapiro would point at it. We'd be like, oh, okay, this is kind of who Earl is, uh, you know. So it was, um, I don't know. If that makes any sense. Kind of went as you as you went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I I thought the first time you meet Earl, he says something along the lines of uh um you know he's got you know you've got your rituals i got my rituals you know the wife says i need to be a little more positive so i was thinking maybe earl's a bit of a dark passenger at times like maybe he's there's something a little sad ab about him you know and something in avi kind of uh inspires him mm -hmm. yeah. yeah um uh, for me uh i got the idea and our our 
fabulous um, costume designer went with me on it. I had the idea that um, uh, that Davies was a sneakerhead. And, um, and because we started to go down that road, I realized that she was someone who was always ready for action, that her the comfort of her feet were a primary concern to her. And it gives her it gives her room to think. It gives her room to think clearly. It gives her it gives her um, uh, uh, facility to pivot that you know that heels or even loafers might not do. That was a really big clue for me is when we decided that she loved comfortable shoes. Can definitely understand that. Well, let yeah. me ask though. I don't know if you can tell me this, but is she going to maybe get a little bit more? away from the desk then as the season goes on that you'll need those shoes or like the wait and see? Girl, you got to <laughs> wait and see. And I promise you it is worth it. It is right. worth it. <laughs> Could you quickly describe your characters in three words? Oh my <laughs> God, in three words? Three but words. a couple words, a few words, yeah. Succinct, um, loyal, and, um, and, um, Succinct, loyal, side eye, side eye. <laughs> Michael. Um, uh, Earl is uh, tired, <laughs> 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 exhausted, um, and uh, and and he misses his family. <laughs> all right well thank you both of you i really enjoyed it i binged the four of them in one night so <laughs> i very much liked it that's a thank great endorsement thank you yeah it's it's very good show so thank you have a good day guys